From the land down under, with the rock at its center, comes the little Aussie watchman. The Australian Election and Religious Freedom. On May the 18th this year, Australia is going to an election. From a Christian point of view, the differences between the two major parties are stark. The Liberals, or the Conservative Party, are up against the Labor Party, similar to the Democratic Party, or known as Liberals in the US. If Labor wins the election, the country will make a sharp turn towards an anti-Christian bias. It will mean a win for those pushing for radical social and sexual agendas. It will mean a loss for freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of conscience. Have a listen to Labor's response to a question about LGBTIQ students and staff at a religious school. Listen to this. As it currently stands, LGBTIQ students and staff at religious schools risk being discriminated against, sacked or expelled. This state of affairs had prompted a community outcry in late 2018 when Scott Morrison promised to tackle the protection of LGBTIQ students late last year. However, he failed to put a bill to Parliament that would deliver on the promise and he subsequently gave up. Labor will not give up. A shortened Labor government will amend the Sex Discrimination Act to remove the exemptions that permit religious schools to discriminate against students and staff on the basis of their sexuality or gender identity. To be clear, Labor are happy to force a Christian school to not discriminate against transsexual or homosexual staff, teachers or principals purely based on the fact that their beliefs completely contradict the religious teaching that's at that Christian school. If indeed religious exemptions are removed, then expect a litany of lawsuits as activists, gays and their attendant lawyers seek to set up and litigate against Christian schools. It may well force Christian education underground and lead many Christian parents to choose homeschooling instead, until that too is outlawed in our inclusive society. Labor will also ban conversion therapy. Have a listen to this. Labor is committed to ending the practice of so-called LGBTIQ conversion therapy. Practitioners of conversion therapy insist, with no reliable evidence, that LGBTIQ people can be cured using a combination of physical and mental coercion. The Victorian Labor Party is already committed to banning the practice. The shortened Labor government will work with survivor groups and coordinate with the states and territories to develop strategies for tackling this practice, including a nationwide ban on gay conversion therapy. There is no place in modern Australia for this practice. Labor is therefore committed to entrapping the sinner within their sin. Lovely. This is completely contradictory to the teaching of the church that emphasizes the radical transforming power of God's grace to change hearts, minds, body and soul. It will make it illegal for pastors, counsellors or youth workers to give help and counsel to those who struggle with same-sex attractions and who are seeking relief. This transforming ministry will be forced underground and those who dare offer support for those seeking help will continually risk fines or even jail time. If you think it stops there, you are sorely mistaken. The radical sexual agenda seeks to sexualise children through the brazenly named Safe Schools program. The sexually confused lifestyle lifestyle is full of mental illness, broken relationships, abusive relationships and broken people. Labor's policies will only increase human suffering, which will slowly damage our nation. Like a slow rot, it will eat away at fundamental freedoms and our liberty. It is not surprising that the phrase, give me liberty or give me death, was ot- give me death was uttered in a church within Virginia, America by Patrick Henry. Without freedom of religion, there is no liberty. Banning God from Christian schools is an open nightmare and spells another nail in the coffin for Western civilization as it continues to destroy the fundamental beliefs that made our nation great and prosperous. May God help us against this flood of wickedness that controls such high places within society.